Morning all, it's Friday morning. We've got our team back into the city. The city store's open again, so we're gonna start up our what's new and all that sort of stuff again. So, we've got a lot of stuff to show you. There's been a lot of stuff coming in over the last few, few weeks. Um, gonna do a bit of a walk around and a bit of uh, box opening as well to show you some new releases. Um, other than that, well, let's get started. So, the first one I wanna have a look at We've had a big shipment from Mini Art. This is the new uh, Austin armoured vehicle. So if you're into armoured cars and you've been picking up the others, this is another new one to pick up. This is very, very nice. Uh, this is the British version. There's uh, three or four versions coming out. Nicely wrapped up little box. Lots and lots and lots of detail. So it's going to be quite an extensive kit. As I said, this is for the British version. Usual Mini, Mini Art um, instruction book. So it's quite detailed. Some nice artwork on the back there to show you what all the different schemes. Um, lots of detail, quite extensive. So it's, it's gonna be quite a nice kit. As I said, I believe there's three or four versions of this coming. Uh, the Ukraine Russian one is in as well. A slightly different turret, I believe, and then there's other versions. So that's the Austin Armoured car. So that's coming. So that'll be, that's in store, sorry. That's in store now. So, uh, online whichever so whichever you want to go where you want to go had some stuff in from uh, AFV Club this is another version of their uh, U2D now for those who remember the old Airfix U2 they did a D version this is the black and silver version with the radome unit on the top these have been very very nice there's been a few questions and issues about intakes and things like that but the reality is the kits do build very, very well. It's a U2D. Um, I just love the fact that they've done the one that the Epix did, so it gives you that uh, bit of nostalgia there. Again, nice kit, nice detail. It's a fairly big aeroplane as usual. Uh, you can see that uh, they've obviously got plans to do later versions because of the way the kit is set up. Nice, nice bits and pieces, nice clear parts, so they give you all the different versions. That's the uh, radome and stuff for the D version. So, lots of bits and pieces. That's the decal sheet. Uh, and there's also a nice little poster of it with the uh, instruction sheet. So there you go. So that's another nice one. Um, very nice kit, in stock. Um, drop in and see us. Now, for something unusual. We haven't got only a couple of these. These are quite rare or quite, they're gonna be limited. This is from another new company we picked up called Micromere. There's been a bit of discussion on this about how big it is and what it is. This is the Russian K7 Kalanin. They only ever built two of them. Both of them crashed in time. But as a kit, this is the most amazing thing. It's not cheap, I'll warn you now, but the detail, that's the wing. Now that's a one piece wing, but it's actually two pieces. It appears to be vac form and they've already joined it for you to keep the, the rigidity of the wing, because it's quite, it's quite flimsy, really. But it's all been, all the cutouts are there in for the wing, all the bits and pieces. As you can see, this is 70 second scale, so it's a big, big aeroplane. So there's that, the clear parts. This is all undercarriage parts. So you've got all this, all this structure. All this structure is all, um, all in one, one set of bag of sprues, so it's quite heavy. Um, there's all the rest of your bits and pieces, engines. I, I'm pretty sure it's eight engine, six pushes, uh, six, yeah, six, two pushes and six pulley ones. Instructions, bit of etched metal, big sheet of uh, big instruction sheet. So, yeah. So for something unusual, if you're just looking for that odd bod, we only have a couple of them because they're not they they're not cheap. But for those people that just want something different, that's a pretty cool aeroplane. So, other than that, that's a couple we've wanted to show you. A couple of regulars and a bit of an odd one. So, what we'll do now is continue on. Continuing on, I'm gonna show you some of the new releases that are coming. Now, these, some of these have been in for a little while, but we haven't been, obviously with COVID and all the rest of it, we haven't shown you much. So, let's have a look. From Micromere again, this is their new 30 second scale Magister. This is a, quite a nice kit. Choice of markings, unfortunately, I left the Australian one out, but if you're looking for 30 second scale, it's not cheap uh, for what it is, but it's not a, a mass run kit either, so you get a bit of work there. We also picked up a company called Clearprop. 
This is another new company. Uh, they're out of the Ukraine as well. Uh, nice kits, a little bit of work, but they're a little bit more detailed than the old average 70 second scale. They do actually have two styles. One is a standard kit and one's in like an upgrade kit where they've got all the bits and pieces. Quite nice, that's the uh, Sea Sprite. Um, also from Micromere, something different. That's the Miles M57 Aero Van. Now from Roden, they've released their version of the, of the Stearman. This is really, really nice. It's a nice kit, lots of detail. Uh, they've got a second version coming out shortly. Yes, there is another brand out there. They're on similar lines, but I think uh, just slightly the Roden kit's a bit nicer. So that's quite good. Um, a fantastic re-release from Airfix. This was a very, very popular kit when it was first released and completely sold out and then was going on eBay and places for stupid money. This is back in stock. The big difference is, of course, this is the radial engine Lancaster. Not a lot built, but this is also, I'm told, is a better kit if you want to do a linking conversion because of the, the way they've set the engines up. But again, nice kit, is in stock. All these items you see up here are in stock at the present time. This is the next new one from ICM in 30 second scale. They've been a bit sneaky by doing the German versions of it first and then they're gonna do the Italians and there's two Italian ones coming. But this is the CR42LW. This is the German marked one, the night fighter or ground attack fighter, bomber, whatever you might wanna call it. Um, 30 second scale, the detail is really nice. If you've done their um, uh, Gladiator or any of the Polycarpovs. This is like a little bit of a level up further again. The, the finesse of the parts and everything else, very, very nice. So that's quite good. Going back a little bit, we've had some new stuff from Airfix. Um, this is the reboxing. This is for the Top Gun series that they're doing. This is obviously Maverick's Mustang. I'll show you some others down the bottom there. From Masterbox, we got, uh, this is part of their new series of Western stuff. That's the Outlaw Gunslinger series. Um, that's the other one. And then you've got, sorry, then you've got the, that particular one, the gun, Outslinger Gunslinger Kit 1. I think they're based on movies. So I'm not sure if, if um, that's actually like a scene from a movie. Uh, also from uh, Masterbox, more of their modern day series kits. That's, an, that's the latest one. This is the uh, Danger Close one, Special Ops. So that's pretty cool. Um, from uh, Dora Wings, which we're getting quite a few, uh, got a lot of interest from them. This is the Block MB. This is the 48 scale Proctor Mark I. And they've also done the 48 scale Lockheed Vega 5B. They're doing some more Vega, so I'm hoping one of them will have Australian markings in it. The big news out of these guys is they're doing a P43 Lancer with Australian markings. Uh, be released, um, I'm told, early next year. So we're not far off for that one. So I skipped one for a minute because I had to show you this. This is from Border. Quite nice. It's T34. Apparently it's one of the more unusual ones because of the side skirts. Not really up with my T34s, but going by the, what customers have told me. The interesting thing about this is it comes in a wooden box, which is pretty cool. So it slides. Let's spin this around. The kit's all in the box and it comes in its own wooden case. That's pretty cool. So um, the kit itself apparently is very, very nice. Uh, as I said, it's a version that supposedly hasn't been done before. Um, so that's pretty cool. You... Oh. So continuing on from um, Ming, which uh, we've now got more of. This is the Titanic, this is the Cleveland, and this is their uh, Lexington. Uh, there's two variants of this. There's a standard version and an upgraded version. The white box is the upgraded version. It's got etched metal in it and a few other bits and pieces. So from there, we'll continue down and I'll show you what else has come in as new. new. We've had a lot of restock of cars and bikes and things like that. Yes, the shelves look a little empty at the moment, but we are restocking. A couple of things to have, take note of. This is, this is actually the old Trumpeter uh, GT40, been reboxed by a group called Magnifier. Um, so it's basically the same car. I think it's got the, even the same markings in it. It's uh, 16th, 12th scale. So that's quite nice if you're chasing that older kit again. So there's been quite a few bits and pieces. We've had restock from Ming and, and all that sort of stuff. That's the, the Ninja H2. So that's back in stock. Um, so we've had a bit of that. 
uh, in sci-fi. There's been a couple of interesting ones. We got some of these in. I don't know anything about it until a few minutes ago when we we're just talking about this. This particular vehicle. This is the transport truck from a movie called Wandering Earth. It's a Chinese uh, production. It's got um, the premise is apparently the Earth is going to be moved or something or other. So they're doing that. That's quite a big kit, quite weighty, um, quite an interesting one. They've also done, there's a platform for it as well. And that's the Wandering Earth International Space Station. There's more to this series as well and there's more to come. So we should see some more of that in the future. Just a quick one across the top. Restocks of the ships. This is the new 200 scale ship from Trumpy. This is the USS Enterprise CV6. Originally, I thought this was supposed to be the 1944 version. I've since heard it's not. It might be about 1942, 43. So I don't believe it's the Night Fighter version that was out before. Um, what else we got? So there's just restocks of the bigger ships. Hood. Um, I think that's Missouri. So there's those sort of things. A couple more from... Dragon, the Apollo series. Yes, it's a couple of a couple of years ago, but they've re-released there. But they've also done Apollo 13, so that's just come back in. Lots of bits, quite a number of new ships as well. We've also, again, with Micromere, we're now carrying a lot more of their range of 1144 scale, 350 scale, and 35th scale ships. They've done quite a few, quite a few um, bits and pieces. That's the Shatterwall. Torpedo carry, midget submarine. That's in 35th scale, so that's quite nice. They've also done, this is a very popular one. This is the 135th scale CSS HL Hunley from the American Civil War. That's quite nice. And as I said, they've done quite a few other things. They, they do do a, a couple of World War I warships as well. Um, British K-class submarine in 350th scale. So they're quite nice. They're, the kits are quite good. A little bit limited run, so don't sort of expect Hasegawa or whatever. So go from there. A few more ships have come in. The newest one, another new one from Trumpeter in their series of Italian warships, the Venuto, or Vittorio Venuto, 1940. So that's come in. Um, 30 second scale wise, there's been a little bit come through. Also from Trumpeter, 24 scale. This is the new Stuka. This is the uh, U4. The um, uh, winter scheme one. So there's that. So that's come in, as I said. These are, this is from Ming again. Now, there's been a lot of noise about this. This has been out for a little while now. Um, I believe the version with the bust is now sold out and deleted. So if you're looking for the DR1, you, uh, most people know that this is actually the Wingnuts original design but it's uh, been released by Meng in the, under their system because of the various dramas with Wingnuts. This is a really, really nice kit. It's not, it hasn't been let down uh, by the design of the kit because it's very, very good. Lots of detail. If you've built Wingnuts kits before, this is really nice. It's a nice um, DR1. Um, but as I said, I think the, the one with the bust, which is a bit more expensive, uh, has actually been now deleted, no longer available. So if you're chasing one, get one. Um, what else have we had? Uh, from um, Mini Art again. That's the server. They've done. The, that's that's the German one, and there's a Spanish, Japanese, no Spanish one. So if you're looking for another continuation of that series, that's pretty cool. One pre-order I will talk to you about uh, that we need to get you to jump on board if you need to order it now because it may not uh, the stock will arrive, but I'm not sure when the next stock. If you've had the B17G from Hong Kong models in 48 scale, this is the new B17F. This is coming with two noses. One set of markings are for Memphis Bell. The other is for another aircraft called Old Faithful. Uh, this is 48 scale. If you've built the G, you'll love this. Uh, I can't wait for this one to come in. We are taking pre-orders. It's about $130 for the kit. Um, it's supposed to be released on the 15th of December from the manufacturer. So we're hoping to see it either just prior or just after Christmas. But um, if you want to get in and jump in and get it, let us know. Give us a call. We'll put on order for you and we'll go from there for you. Okay, continuing on. This is the aircraft of um, 48th and, and 72nd and things like that. Uh, had restocks of RS models. Not much new, but they've got some new stuff coming, which will be quite interesting. 
Um, their latest ones really has been the Dornier, the DO22. This is a pretty kit. I think I've shown this before or talked about this before, but it is a nice kit. Many, pl plenty of choices of markings. There's two versions, comes with American and, uh, sorry, with German and um, European markings. Um, what else have we got? Been a few other bits and pieces through there. Um, oh, this is from, this is from Sova M. This is uh, A model's Hercules, which is very nice. And they've done the extra parts to do the uh, EC one. So quite interesting. That's one 144th. So that's uh, a nice little kit. Um, what else are we expecting? Roden with, oh, the Roden B36. Uh, will probably be here just before or just after Christmas, depending on freight. So if you're looking for that kit, pre-order it or get in and order it because it's going to be quite nice. It's a, it looks quite good so far. Uh, across the top, uh, the couple of newbies. This is from, um, this is Modelfit, which is another company we've picked up. This is their uh, AN10. So if you're looking for the bigger transports from the Russian groups, that's quite nice. A model as well. That's the Polar Aviation PE-8. Basically, it's a standard PE-8, just with the bits and pieces. Uh, what else have we got? This is the TB-1. So we've got this whole series now, so that's quite good. Um, now, these guys, this is um, KP. No, yeah, sorry, this is KP. They've got a few new ones coming out. We've had a couple of new ones come in. The interesting ones have been the Bobcats. So they're quite nice. There's about three or four different versions and the Sopwith series. Now, there, we're also expecting shortly the Sopwith triplanes um, and the uh, Lag 3s, I think it is, due out soon. From Models Vid in 70 second scale as well, this is their new Mirage. This is the 3 EA EAR. That's uh, this quite nice, good choice of markings. Uh, I believe they are going to do an Aussie one, but I haven't seen any further information on that as yet. So continue on. Uh, Valum. Uh, Valum's, um, this is the Valum Valletta. They are releasing the Viking, so that'll be out in the near future. From Special Hobby, we've got the, the um, Sunderland Mark III, which is very nice. Uh, there. For those interested, their uh, 30 second scale whirlwind will be out either late this year or early next year, we should see it. So if you're chasing that, I would order that as well. Edward, of course, where we've had all sorts of uh, restocks and redos. Their Mustangs have gone very well. Their Spitfire is currently sold out with us at the moment, but I believe we're getting some more, but I don't think that's actually gonna be available once we receive our final shipment. Um, continuing on in 70 seconds, scale. I've got a bit of more Dora wings. This is sort of some of the ones that have been coming out, which are quite nice. Um, special hobby, that's the Sea Otter that they've released. Uh, as I said, they've got some interesting new bits and pieces as well. Uh, special hobby also, the new uh, re sorry, the reissue of the 70 seconds scale Boomerang will be here shortly. Uh, continuing on, mostly bits and pieces here. I've shown you the... For those, oh, when I was talking about the top guns, top one guns before, that's the Skyhawk. Uh, that's the so-called MIG from it. Uh, what else have we got? There's the, and this is the F-18, Mavericks F-18. So there's those sort of ones coming. Now, if you're into collecting cl classics, collectibles, whichever, we have got the latest two vintage kits from Airfix. That's the Soviet Machete SM79. Was a pretty good kit and still quite nice. And that's the Black Widow, P61 Black Widow. So that's two more from them. They've also released a number of others at the moment. Uh, if you're into Motorhead, we've got more stock of the Heinkel. Motorhead of Heinkel. So that's quite nice. Um, what else can we show you? There's all sorts of bits and pieces through there. So there's been quite a lot, of, as I said, quite a lot of restock, things like that. Tamir um, from Airfix, reissue of the Gloucester Javelin. Uh, for those interested, they have to have taken the Sea Vixen out of the, this year's program. Not sure if it might be next year's program, but they've taken it out. But if you're looking for a really, really nice 50s British jet, that is really good kit. 
Okay, now we're into uh, 72nd scale and 35th scale armour. So we've had restocks of hobby of hat. We've had restocks of Orion and Mars and everything else. So there's been quite a bit of that and stuff in there. A uh, bit of Roden, a bit of Airfix. Um, these guys from um, Galaxy or T model or whatever they're called. So if you're looking for something like an M122, that's quite good. As I said before, we've had a lot of new mini art and things like that come in. Lots of figures, lots of weapon sets. Uh, these are pretty cool. US equipment for tank crew and infantry. Um, US infantry weapons and equipment. There's also a German one as well. So, and as I said, there's quite a lot of bits and pieces in here. Their, their most popular series is this um, accessory sets and things like that. So there's been a few good ones in that. A few more figures have come in, so they're quite good. In, in the military side of things, we've got things like German tractor, uh, preparing for the road. So that comes with that vehicle and the figures. We've also had the, tur uh, the T-3485 composite turret. So there's that one. Uh, as I said to you before, we've had the Austin Armoured Car. This is the Ukrainian, Polish, Georgian and Romanian service ones. Apparently there's a couple of differences with them. These do both come with interior too, so that's quite good. Uh, this is a workstation wagon. So it's got all the equipment for repairs and all that sort of stuff, and I think it comes with that figure. Uh, what else have we had? Oh, the Egyptian T-3485 with crew. So that's pretty cool. So there's been quite a bit of stuff come in from them. German truck. That's the civilian version of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, so there's that. Uh, from the others, Tamir. We've had restocks of Tamir. We're expecting another one shortly. Um, some of the other brands. We've had a lot of restock from Meng. So there's been quite a bit of um, stuff come back in from them. They've got a lot of new stuff coming out next year, which is going to be quite interesting. A lot of restock. Bronco, we're expecting a Bronco shipment in the near future. Um, again, probably in the new year due to freight and things like that. So we'll have a lot of restock from that. AFE Club, as I pointed out to you with the uh, aircraft, they've also done some other bits and pieces. Now, a couple of things. They've started to move into the accessory type of thing. This is the US Army workbench in 35th scale and tool set. So there's quite a bit in that from the pictures. So if you're looking for that uh, workbench area, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if you've got, uh, we've got restocks of the 30 cal and 50 cal, so if you've got the armoured vehicles and things like that. Um, in 350th scale, they've done some more of these um, uh, LCTs. They did an LST, this is an LCT, and they've done some weaponry and vehicles for it as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else have we had? Um... This is all restocks, things like that. Centurion Mark I, again, back in stock. So there's been all those sort of goodies. Uh, from Trumpeter, we've got some new bits and pieces. This is the KV-1 42 simplified turret with crew. So this comes with the crew this time. So that that's apparently wasn't a bad kit in its time. Uh, ICM, we've had a few new bits and pieces. Unfortunately, at the moment, we've sold out of most of it. We're expecting uh, another fairly large shipment of ICM shortly. Um, Amusing's had a few bits and pieces. They've got some new interesting things coming next year, which I've already seen a bit of information on. Also from Trumpeter, uh, this is the Soviet 5P-71 launcher with missiles. Um, so if you're looking for just the missile stand, find it interesting, it's on a beach. But um, So there you go. But there's that one. Uh, what else have we had in? Restocks of the Australian stuff as well, of course. That's the... Phase three Aslav, so that's come back into into stock. Um, but other than that, guys, that's about all we can show you at the moment. Uh, as I said, there is a lot more to come out in the near future. Um, we'll be doing these on a more regular basis now that we're back in in into the store and things like that. So keep an eye out for us, look for us, whatever. Um, I'll also tell you about some um, new pre-orders and things like that. Um, so there's a lot of nice new stuff coming out next year that people are going to be very interested in. So have a great day. Good to see you back. Hope you like to see us back and we'll see you again soon. See you then. Bye.